Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Um, today I have a very fun little wax review for you. Um, last week, a vendor called Wicked Wax Studio from Etsy contacted me on Instagram. Her name is Elizabeth Flesher and asked me would I like to uh, try some of her wax and review it for her and I said absolutely I would love to do that for you with the understanding that my review will be honest good or bad or in the middle it'll be honest and uh, she just sent me a nice little card thank you so much for trying out my wax I hope that you enjoy the scents that I picked out for you so originally she asked me what I would like to try and I said I'll leave that up to you these are some categories that I like and off we go so yeah so as I said from Etsy wicked wax studio find us on ins find us on Etsy follow us on Facebook and you might hear some thunder in the background. It was just thundering a minute ago. I was all ready to go to the pool and just relax without my sister. And as soon as I decided to do that, it got all gray and cloudy and it's now thunder and lightning. Okay, so anyway, one of the ones she sent me was Monster Mash and this is Bergamot, Lime, Eucalyptus, and Spearmint. This was a, sh a scent shot um, and I cut it in half and I melted it uh, on two different occasions. The throw was really good, uh, probably at eight. Um, yeah, well, yeah, seven to eight. I had it in my half bath actually, so it's a small space. Um, definitely I got the lime in here and a little bit of eucalyptus. And um, I didn't get any spearmint, but I did like it because I do like lime things. I'm not a fan of eucalyptus, but it blended really nice with the lime. Bergamot, I don't even know what bergamot smells like. I, I still don't know. I mean, I've looked up the scent descriptions, I looked up definitions, encyclopedias, Wikipedia, and I still can't describe what it smells like. So I know what, okay, we're moving on. Okay, Alice's Restaurant, Fresh Coffee and Old Town Bake Shop. This was really good. I do love coffee scents. Um, this, although it doesn't say it in the notes, but I don't know what Old Town Bake Shop is. I thought I detected a little bit of mocha in here a little chocolate note chocolate mocha which I can it's not bad I don't I don't love mocha um, I do have a sensi wax mocha doodle I like it I don't love it same with here I liked it I didn't love it I didn't hate it um, but having said that it would the throw was great so if you don't if you like mocha scents and mocha slash coffee and I don't even know I'm talking fast again I don't even know if there's mocha in this blend. That's just what my nose detected. Um, but the throw was great, probably a strong medium, seven, seven and a half out of 10. Now what I didn't care for was the, there was a couple of coffee beans in here and the non-meltable coffee beans. So I'm not one for mix-ins. Some people love them, some people hate them. I'm in the please don't category, like for jimmies and sprinkles and mix-ins and you know coffee beans and baby teeth and whatnot I'm not into that but anyway but the throw was good I enjoyed that one the other one I really enjoyed is blackberry boogie which is blackberry jam butter cookie butter brickle and marshmallow marshmallow fluff and this one also was covered in little itsy bitsy it was already left in there no cuz I, I it was, I uh, had a layer of little itty bitty colored jimmies, little pearls, little colored pearls. So I scraped them off. That's just my preference, but it doesn't affect the, the performance of the wax. That's just a preference of mine. Uh, so I did enjoy this one because I do love a blackberry. It was, uh, it was, it was not a perfumey blackberry, but it was a tart blackberry. And I did get the butter cookie, a cookie scent. I didn't really get the marshmallow fluff but I did get a tart blackberry and a cookie, so I did enjoy that one as well, minus the jimmies. This one is Let It Be, which is sweater weather, blue sugar, and cream soda. And if you like sweater weather, the candle from Bath & Body Works, you will definitely like this one a lot, because it was almost, almost identical to the candle. I didn't get any cream soda, but I did get the sweater weather. Now, I am not a fan of sweater weather. I don't care for that candle. I had one once way back when and I have not repurchased it. It's just not in my scent, you know, wheelhouse. But 
But if you do like that candle sweater weather, I definitely recommend this one. I think you will really, really enjoy this one. Um, it has, you know, sweater weather has like some fresh scents and eucalyptus and whatnots and yeah, uh, it, it was okay, but it's just not, not a, not one of my favorites, but anyway, but the throw was great. So all of, all of these th were very strong, me strong, medium, like seven, seven and a half, eight in a little room. So I have no issues with the throw whatsoever. So, um, definitely, I would definitely recommend checking out Wicked Wax Studio. Ellen Flesher is the owner on Etsy. So check out Ellen and her, uh, sorry, Elizabeth and her wax. And yeah, I think it's a thumbs up for me. So, um, there you go. Wicked Wax Studio. Good job. I'll talk to you later. Bye.